As concerts and conventions continue to return to central Indiana, demand over the weekends is actually getting pretty heavy for hotels and restaurants. And while that should be a welcome change, hiring issues also continue to plague the industry. Our Mike Sullivan shows you how some local businesses are adjusting. Now hiring to a restaurant. That phrase itself is as commonly heard as kitchen noise. Everybody's got help wanted signs up, you know, looking looking for people. Rob Chinsky just opened his 18th Penn Station last week. Um, we continue to raise our rates, you know, and continue to pay more, and I think everybody has. Yet, like the rest of the hospitality industry, they too can't seem to find help. We do a little bit better over the summertime with a lot of the college kids and high school kids that can work more. And that all goes away here next month. They too reduce hours and close certain days due to lack of employees. We have restaurants that are consistently reporting phenomenal uh, week to week sales figures uh, with very little staff. Patrick Tam is president and CEO of the Indiana Restaurant Lodging Association. 98% of hotels in Indiana reported they can't fill jobs where they've increased wages. The return of conventions and sporting events brings big occupancy rates on weekends. However, come Monday, we immediately go down to 5 8% occupancy. Tam suggests normal business travel may not return until 2024. Uh, we strip rooms, if you will, uh, laundry. On Sundays, when people check out, uh, we do not turn all the rooms because we want to make sure all our housekeeping and others have a consistent 40 hours. Tam says many industry workers who were laid off found work elsewhere. Those folks had to find jobs and they had to find them quick. Chinsky understands. When I started out, I was 15 years old working, doing dishes in a, in a ki kitchen back in St. Louis. He says now is the time to be hired, especially when it comes to upward mobility. We've had several people go off and become franchisees. Look at Chinsky now. 31 years later. In Carmel, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Mike, thank